Hey y'all, so today I thought we would head into the Dollar Tree to see what Christmas decorations they have out. So it looks like they have just the normal ornaments and signs like they've had in previous years. I did see these two that were new to me, but they might have been out last year. And then they had a few other signs that were also new to me, and I saw these uh, pet related ones. I don't think I've seen these before, but it's possible they were out last year. My Dollar Trees in my area have been a little slow at putting out the Christmas. They've left the Halloween and fall up for a very long time, I feel like, compared to other years. And then I also saw some of these tabletop signs that seem to be new. And then they also had a few platters. And I really liked this gingerbread one and so they did have the new dinnerware out and they had it in the red and green plaid and also in the wreath design I really liked the plaid one so I did end up picking up a few of these they had everything you could think of from plates to mugs to the pot holders matching drying mats, saucers, chargers, small rugs, and like storage bin containers. Just about everything they had in both of these designs. And they also had the snowflake dinnerware, which I think is really pretty, but it's a little plain for me. So now that I'm back home, let me show you what I picked up at Dollar Tree. So first I picked up some of these, the LED candy canes. And the nice thing about these is that they have a six hour timer. So I no longer have to go outside and turn them on and off. I think last year's model, you had to go and manually turn them on and off. So this will turn itself on and off, which is great. So I did pick up some of the dinnerware. I really like this design because it's kind of plain but also says Christmas without saying Christmas too much so you could put you know a nice little napkin holder in the center or maybe a different saucer however you want to do it um, but I just like that they're plain and not too out there so that I can use them during the year for other things if I wanted to and then I picked, just picked up two of the bowls. My daughters wanted one of each of those. And then I did pick up one of the tabletop signs. I thought I'd probably put this on my tier stand or either in one of the guest bathrooms. And I also picked up some of the storage bins in that same design because I like to put presents under my tree, but not the actual present. I like it to look like there's presents under there. So I thought I could use these as faux presents or maybe just to store some of our Christmas pillows in. I also picked up one of the little wooden signs. I thought this was really cute. Don't know where I'll use it yet, but I thought it was, was a cute little sign. And then I also picked up some of the gingerbread men. I'm planning to decorate the kitchen in a gingerbread theme. So I picked three of these up. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use them, but they're super cute. And I also picked up one of the gingerbread soap dispensers. I know I had one of these at my old house, but I think it must have I must have tossed it when we moved. So I just picked up another one. And then they had these really pretty, I think they're acrylic deers. I thought those, I thought they were just really well done. They're very pretty. And I do like a village scene on my bookshelf with all of my little houses, light up houses and stuff. So I thought those would be, be pretty along with these trees. The trees do light up, but I think they're really pretty even without um, the lights in them. I think the lights are color changing. So, and then I picked up a few of those bottle brush trees to, to add to the village. And then they had some mini ornaments, or at least I think these are intended to be mini tree ornaments, so they seem more like regular size to me, but they were gingerbread themed. Don't know how I'll use these either. I might make a garland or use them as um, gift tags on gifts or just to put on the tree. I'm not sure. 
And they also had some of their um, wooden signs. I don't know what you would call these, but it's double-sided, so it has two different messages on both sides. But I like this because it did have a gingerbread theme to it, so I could sit this in the kitchen. And then I also like to grab a few of their larger holiday boxes every year. I also use these under my tree as faux presents since we don't put the actual presents under the tree until Christmas Eve, but I love the look of presents under the tree, so I like to use some of these as faux presents up until Christmas Eve. And then from the plus section, I picked up one of the ceramic trees. I was really surprised they actually had some of these left. I went to a couple different Dollar Trees and I only found one that actually had a green one left. They still had some of the other colors, which I think were like white and maybe pink, but I really wanted the green one. So I was excited to find that. And then they also had the standing plush characters and I was really wanting the gingerbread one, so I was very excited. I finally found one um, after searching several trees. So, But he is just so darling, and I plan to keep him in the kitchen too. I have a few other gingerbread um, characters that I'll put in the kitchen with him. And then I like to decorate the wall behind my office chair in my office, which is a really small office space. But I don't like to put anything breakable on the wall because I'm afraid my chair will hit it and it'll fall off. So I saw all this felt Christmas tree and I thought it would be perfect for that wall so that if I do hit the wall with my chair, at least nothing breakable will fall down. So that is everything I picked up, you guys. So let me get this put to the side and I will show you what I picked up from Aldi this week. Now, it's not a very big haul that I have at Aldi. I'm trying to go through a lot of our freezer and pantry stash and use up a lot of things before stuff starts to go out of date and before the holidays get here and we start to do a lot more baking and cooking. So this is kind of a small haul for us. But we were out of mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese, and spaghetti sauce, so I just picked up some of those. And then I also picked up some milk, and I have some hot dogs left, so I'm also going to make some beanie weenies with hot dogs this week. And then I picked up some pumpkin just so I can make some muffins this week. And then we really like these scalloped crackers, and they had them on clearance, so I'm thinking they might be, they might be going away. So I picked up another one of those. My daughter wanted some shredded mozzarella, so I picked up a bag of that. And we've both been wanting some spinach artichoke dip. And I've been too lazy to make it, so I happened to see this in the freezer section. So I just picked up one of those to try. We've never tried it before. We still have sandwich meat on hand, but I wanted some salami, so I just picked up a package of that. They have pie crust on sale or at least marked down. So I picked up another pack of that and we can make some easy chicken pot pies. Then we got two dozen eggs. And I picked up a bag of spinach and cheese ravioli. I have some turkey sausage I'm gonna to add to that with like a cream sauce. We got some strawberries, some cucumbers, just a bag of lettuce, some bananas, and I didn't pick up too much just because we still have apples and tomatoes and onions and grapes. But they did have the apple, the bagged apples on sale this week for $1.99, so I couldn't pass those up. And then I also got some pepperonis in six containers of yogurt. Some hamburger buns. We've got some ground beef to use up, so we'll just make burgers this week. And then my daughter has tried these chocolate croissants at a friend's house, and she really liked them. They're not exactly authentic, but she really likes them, so I picked them up for her, and she could just grab some in the morning on her way out to school because they are individually packed. And then I did pick up one of the mini wreaths they have. I like the little bells on this. 
And I like how just simple it is with just a few red berries on it. So I plan to put that on probably my back side door. They had these musical tins, which have like little sugar cookies on the inside. But let me, here, I'll set it down and I'll set the camera down right quick and show you guys what it sounds like. But yeah, I love anything that makes music or lights up, so I couldn't pass this one up. And I think they had three other designs. There was a red one, a blue one, and a white one, and they all played different Christmas songs. So that is everything we picked up this week. So I hope everyone had a great Halloween holiday, and I hope you guys have a great week ahead, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!